Hi you all. My name is Mary. This reading is for Aries. I hope everybody's doing great. Bear with me for just a minute you all. We're going to pick nine of these cards, okay? Sometimes it takes me just a minute. One more. All right, let's take two of these. Well, if I don't throw them all over the place. Eh, I want to pass. There we go. That one jumped out. All right, you all, let's see what we got. The moon card. The emperor. Justice, wow. Seven of swords. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Fool card. You're clarifying, journey, and man holding a coin. You guys ready to take on a new journey? A new adventure? Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all, I'm seeing all kinds of stories when I'm looking at these. Let's start with uh, this line over here, okay? I've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Fool card. I'm feeling like this could be about your job, your work, your career, your business, some kind of a new opportunity coming in for you all, possibly something that's new and that you guys are wanting to learn more. Um, I just feel like, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles, this is something that you make a living doing and you're really good at it. You've mastered it and you're fantastic at it, but you're also in the middle of learning something new and maybe even switching jobs, switching careers, doing something completely different, and you're ready to take on a new journey. This over here says journey as well. So I have a feeling for some of you guys that this could be something to do with your job or a uh, bit new business opportunity. Maybe you're doing something on the side, so you're working at d during the day, coming home at night and doing something completely different that you're learning. So I just want to say that right off the bat. Now look at it, look at this down through here, right? I have the Emperor, the Moon card, and the Justice. Let me say something real quick. This moon card can mean a couple of different things. Number one, it can mean your intuition, your gut, your instincts are trying to uh, show you things, tell you things, make you realize certain situations are good or certain situations are bad. So number one, the moon can stand for intuition. Number two, the moon can stand for something being hidden from you all. So every once in a while, and today is one of those days, when I get it, I feel like that there may be something, maybe it's even at your work, maybe not, but I'm just going to say that because we've got work over here. Some kind of information may be hidden from you. You know how when somebody tells you a story and they leave some of the, 
the story out because it makes them look bad. So you never hear the real story until later on and all of a sudden somebody else tells you the story and you're like, oh, I didn't hear that part. Well, that makes more sense, right? So I'm almost feeling like that for you all. And it's, it's, it, I have the emperor on top and I have the justice down here at the bottom. So I feel like there's going to be something or a situation or a person or some sort of news or something that may come out that gives you guys the full picture of something. And it may um, change your mind about certain things. It may shock you a little bit, I'm going to be honest. And it may turn your feelings to, around to, to a, in a different way. So I just want to say that because I'm feeling it really, really strong. It could be this emperor that's giving you this information and you're going to get justice because of it. So I just feel like that whatever this is, and I think we're going to take a clarifying for it in a minute. Whatever this is, is you're going to feel a lot better about a certain situation once you hear about it and once there's something done about it, okay? I just feel strong about that. Now, over here, I feel like you, you're feeling sticked and stabbed. You could have somebody that acts like they're, you're, they're your friend, but they're not. Um, they could be somebody that's dishonest or disloyal or trying to take something from you. Maybe they're trying to take your work or trying to take credit for something that you've done. Sometimes it's about dishonesty, so maybe they're lying about you. Or maybe they're just flat out stealing from you. I can't be for sure for everybody. It's going to be different. But whenever I get this card, I get a little bit on edge, I'll be honest. Because it makes me feel like that there's someone out there or a situation, or possibly a group of people, I'm not sure, that's trying to deceive you, or trying to be dishonest about you, or trying to take something from you. And honestly, when I get this Knight of Swords right here too at the bottom, this could be about something coming out. Like, uh, it could be a person, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let me start there because it can be a younger energy of an air sign. Um, but sometimes when I get him, I kind of feel like that there might be something that's somebody that's pushing you into doing something or um, very impatient about something or wanting you to take action on something and it could have something to do with this nonsense up here. So on one hand, I feel like you might need to be a little bit more cautious because you don't want to jump the gun and, and do say something or do something that's not um, good for you. But on the other hand, I'm kind of feeling like they may be, I'm not sure if they're a part of this or if they're trying to help you get out of this. It could go either way. Either way it goes, be cautious, okay? Because for some reason, I don't necessarily care for this right here especially. Let's take some clarifying, all right, real quick. And look at it this way before I do. Here you've got this situation, you've got this hidden secrets, and then you've got maybe something that you're doing on the side or something that you're learning here. So it could be somebody um, putting their hands into your money or trying to take credit for something you're doing or trying to deceive you when you're trying to learn something new. It's going to be different for everybody. I'm going to take one for that Ten of Swords, okay? There's the tower, you all. That's an epiphany. That's something that could happen. Okay, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me look at it for a minute before I ramble. It's about change. It's about some kind of change. And a lot of times, um, sometimes, it's about something actually changing that makes you guys aim in a different direction. Sometimes, you guys, it's about information that's coming in for you and it changes your mind about something and, t and puts you in a totally different direction. That's kind of how I'm feeling today. I'm almost feeling like sticking and stabbing, poking and jabbing over here. Um, whether this is your job, your work, your business, 
maybe it's your people in your community maybe it's your family i don't you know maybe not maybe it's your neighbors maybe it's somebody that you know but you may find something out and it's an aha kind of a moment a clarity moment and it totally changes your mind about the direction that you're going you know how when you have your mindset on, I'm going to do this right here. This is the way I'm going. This is what I'm doing. I, this is how I think. This is it. And then you hear some kind of news or somebody tells you something and you're like, holy cow, I had no idea. And then it totally aims you towards the other direction because now you've changed your mind about it. That's how I feel with this tower. It's an epiphany. And something comes in, possibly like this moon, like I was saying earlier, and that's going to change your mind completely about something that you are for sure going in this direction, but all of a sudden, boom, it changes. And look at it this way. This puts you on a new path, you all, taking on a new journey. Let's take one more. Ace of Cups. Look at there. Well, hold on. Ace of Cups is all about emotions and happiness and love and um, surrounding yourself with the people that you love, right? That's all it's about, and it's about you guys being happy. So there's something here that changes your mind about something, but it looks like it may be going in, the, in a better direction than you can even expect. It's about a, a abundance and overflowing with happiness. It can be about babies. It can be about relationships, but it can also be about family. You guys uh, wanting the best for your family. Look at it this way. You're tickled about something. You've got the emperor and then you've got the eight of, of pentacles. Because of this tower and this, in, this stuff that's going on, you could be um, in a much better place at your job, at your work, at your um, career, at your business, whatever this is, may put you in a much better place. The emperor could be your boss, could be a father figure, could be someone that you know and love, could just be somebody that's in authority or in um, that's higher up, you know, whether it's in the business or in your community or wherever this is. Maybe it's a judge or someone like that too. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to take one for this Sneaky peek card right here. Stressing you out. Not letting you sleep good at night. You know, when somebody treats you wrong, it really does just, just sticks and stabs at you to where you, you just can't believe it sometimes, right? Sometimes you go to bed and you're like, man alive, I just can't believe that I trusted that person or how they've done me wrong or... Maybe it's not just one person. Maybe it's a whole situation that just kind of uh, rubbed you the wrong way or or is being deceiving or something about you. But for some reason, it's, it's taking a toll on your sleep and on your stress level. Um, I don't think it's going to happen too much longer. I think it's going to be an issue maybe for a day or two. But I also feel like it's going to work itself out and it's going to be in your favor. Let's take... Take one more for that, you all. If I can find one that pops out. Well, there's several. Pass. There we go. <laughs> Same card. Knight of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> Give me a minute. Kind of feeling torn on this one. I'm wondering if the Knight of Swords is the one that's that's making you all feel this way. Are you dealing with an air sign that is not on the up and up, you all? Or is there an air sign coming in to help save you? It's kind of teeter-tottering in my mind right now. So it kind of bothers me, I'll be honest. Goodness. Okay, look at it this way. Maybe it's a loved one that's coming in to rescue you. Maybe this is your child, your grandchild, um, your partner, a sibling. You know, maybe this is a father figure up here. It could go in different ways. On, on one hand, I'm feeling strong about this could be someone that's not treating you fairly. On the other hand, I kind of feel strong that it could be someone helping you get out of this situation and get out of this stressful 
sneaky Pete situation. So be cautious either way, okay? Let's take one more for him. I can't decide. Or there's the King of Swords. But now the King is a little bit different. So let me look at this for a second. You know, the King of Swords air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, is all about intelligence, clarity, truth, uh, very businesslike. Um, so this may be someone that's come that's stepping in to help you guys. I'm almost feeling that a little stronger now with him. Um, so you guys may be dealing with an air sign and he may be someone that's on your side. But now this younger air sign down here and here, I'm not quite sure about. I, I just don't know. It could go either way. I think I'm going to stop there with him. I'm going to take one for this Knight of Swords. There we go. Oops, there's two. I just want one. Victory, success, achievement, promotions, leadership roles, um, new jobs. That's beautiful, I'll tell you right now. So let me say this. If you guys are dealing with nonsense at your work, you guys may be uh, finding yourself either getting promoted possibly getting new jobs. Maybe you're even thinking about switching your careers like I was saying over here. Maybe you're doing something on the side that you're going to be able to make extra income with. But maybe you're opening your own business or you're about to become a leader or a manager or supervisor or an owner of something. You may be asked to be taking um, a leadership role here in the very near future. And it may come from this air sign, or it could come from the emperor. Honestly, I'm not quite sure. But if you're having issues at your job or at your work, you may find yourself in a better predicament here in the very near future. And it could be because of this sticking and stabbing. It could be because of this sneaky pee. This tower is going to change your mind about something, or something's going to happen that's just going to um, disintegrate something that is not good that's going on and all of a sudden things are going to start working out in your favor. You've got happiness here, you've got love, you've got excitement, possibly from this air sign right here stepping up uh, that, that knows you or adores you or wants to give you an opportunity of some kind of a successful outcome here. Look at it this way, you all. You've got possibly a promotion or a leadership role or a success or victory because you feel justified and you're ready to take on this new journey. This is a journey card too. And you've got a man over here holding a coin, which makes me feel like somebody is giving you some sort of financial gain, whether it's because of this new job or this new situation. Maybe this is someone in your family helping you um, move somewhere different or take on a new job or open a new business or whatever it is. You, ha you have uh, financial support from someone or a new job of some kind. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to take one for this moon card because I'm very curious. Four of Cups. So let's say, let's say between your intuition and your um, some kind of stories or some kind of news or some kind of information that comes out it puts you guys in this little bit of confusion you know whenever i see him you just kind of want to be by yourself because you're trying to figure something out sometimes it's like a you're bored or you're not sure which way to go or you are just kind of feeling blah you know that kind of thing but then you've got this opportunity that's kind of pecking you on the shoulder saying hey would you like this opportunity hey would you like this opportunity? But you guys ain't paying attention. You've got your head turned the other way and you're just kind of gazing out into the into the woods. Please pay attention to these opportunities, you all. That could be where you guys get this promotion or this new opportunity here regarding your job, regarding your main um, source of living. 
Um, you could also be getting an opportunity of something that you're learning how to do or doing something on the side as well. And maybe you're even changing your main job into something that's more fun for you that you really want to do and take on this new journey here too. I'm going to take one more here. But like I said before, pay attention to your opportunities. Look at your email, look at your text, look at maybe your, even your phone calls. Um, whatever it is that people may send you um, offers, pay attention, okay? You might be pleasantly surprised, you all. Let's take one more. Judgment, resurrection, fresh starts, going from the dark and into the light. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Give me a second. I love this card. I gotta be honest, I just love it. It just makes me feel like this is a new phase in your life. This is you guys going from being in the dark here in the moon to actually seeing the light, seeing the truth maybe, feeling like you're rejuvenated, feeling like, you know, that just things are working out in your favor for heaven's sakes. Look at it this way, you all. You've got this emperor. You Now you've got this judgment, a fresh start, a new phase in your life, and you've got this justice. Whatever is going on in your life right now that doesn't feel fair or you feel like you're being picked on for one reason or another or you just feel, you know, with the sticked and stabbed and then you've got this sneaky Pete thing going on, which could be one person or it could be a multiple group of people. Whatever's going on in your life that you just don't feel that's going on is very fair. That is changing and that is changing quickly. Um, I suggest that you guys just be yourself do the job or your work or whatever, wherever this is, uh, do the, what you do the best of your ability and try to bite your tongue for a second because it's going to pay off. You guys are going to be able to, I feel, if you're looking for it anyway, this could be a promotion for you guys because of the way you're handling certain situations because you're not... Um, Fighting back, maybe not literally fighting, but you're not, you know, just just try to, the best that you can, just try to move forward and just keep doing your job and keep doing your work and keep doing what you do and don't let these this silliness get in your way or stop you or prevent you from being who you are because it's going to pay off. Honest to goodness, I feel it. You're moving forward here. This is a victory card. You're going to feel justice is coming in for you guys, and this could be a new road, a new path, a new journey for you all. Even though it might be a little bit scary, um, I think you guys are going to grab it and run with it. This right here tells me the same thing. This is about a journey, right? You guys could get somebody maybe offering you something to move somewhere else, to give you a job and say, I'll pay for your, I'll pay for your move, I'll pay for your home, I'll pay for your gas, whatever it is. That might be where this is coming in. Maybe they're offering you a position um, in a different location and you guys may be, you know, moving or something and they may help pay for that. They may just give you a big bonus, a big raise and a, and a promotion that way. You guys may be um, on the flip side of this changing careers and doing something completely different, something that you are wanting to learn and wanting to, to know and wanting to continue to grow with and that could put you on a different path. So this can go in a lot of different ways but overall you guys are going to be thrilled with the outcome here. I really do believe that. And I think for a lot of you guys, maybe there is something you're wanting to learn different. There is a new path that you're considering taking. And especially if you guys hear some sort of information that kind of makes you turn the other way, um, that's really going to open your eyes and give you guys a fresh start and a new beginning and a new way of seeing things and a new way of living, to be quite honest. You're going to feel more balanced. And this Justice card is like a huge relief that's coming in for you guys. If this is maybe a court case for some, you're gonna get a better court case or a better um, outcome than you expect. 
if this is just something that's not been treating you fairly, you're going to feel so good about this outcome, the way this works out for you. Honest to goodness. Beautiful, beautiful reading, uh, Aries. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, please keep in mind, if this does not resonate right at this moment, it may in the very near future. Sometimes it's right around the corner, you all, and sometimes it's a little later on. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.